Caught on camera, a McDonald's employee under attack by a man police say was upset after ordering through the drive through Police say that man appeared impaired to those McDonald's employees at the window. But when the victim brought out the food, they say Daniel Suarez Tellez tried to grab the right arm of that McDonald's employee. They say he also reached for a pole used in the restaurant company's trash and started swinging it at that employee. His license plate was caught on video. Police took him into custody at his home nearby, and he was later identified by the victim. Well, that's twofold. Number one is that if they don't get caught, this is going to continue. And number two is their brazen attitude. Now to a CBS 4 News exclusive, a warning about serial burglars caught on camera in West Miami. Tonight, police say they may be taking their crime sprees into other cities. And tonight, new surveillance video could shed some light on who these thieves are. CBS 4's Peter Dench spoke with police about what's being done to get them off the streets and why they think these criminals could strike again. West Miami police say the serial burglars struck when most people were sleeping just after four in the morning. The victim hopes someone will recognize them. Police say these are faces they want you to remember. This male seen stealing plumbing and electrical tools from a contractor's truck and his female accomplice next to him. They're both probably in their in their late teens or 20s. Um, the the male is heavy set, uh, was wearing shorts um, and a light colored shirt. They are first seen at 410 Monday morning getting out of their car at Southwest 20th Street and 61st Avenue. They split up. The male uh, sees a pickup truck that uh, has a lot of expensive tools in the back of the bed. And uh, the male gets up into the truck and he removes the actual um, toolbox. What they do is at that point, they, they sell it on the black market, uh, you know, things like Craigslist uh, or marketplaces. Uh, that they're not going to ask for any receipts, and they go ahead and they and they sell them. The victim is this man, contractor Pedro Garcia. I'm in shock because they took all of my equipment. I don't have anything to work with. This has never happened to me before. This was three thousand dollars worth of tools. I just finished paying them off in December. I'd like to see them caught. We're hoping actually that somebody can identify uh, this person based on the video. I, I, that same night, they actually uh, went to other locations in our city and tried to uh, open other cars as well. Major Pete Delgado believes the burglars may have struck other cities and is eager to catch them. That's twofold. Number one is that if they don't get caught, this is going to continue. And number two is their brazen attitude. If you notice, the male subject does not have anything on his face, so he doesn't care to be identified. Um, and, and they're just very nonchalant about the whole thing, which makes us believe that this is a, a repeated pattern for them. What would that mean to you to get these people off the street? Well, it, 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 would, it would allow for our citizens in our city to sleep better at night. Major Pete Delgado tells us that his department has been in touch with police in other cities to see if the serial burglars have also struck there. If you can help, Call West Miami Police or Miami Day Crime Stoppers at 305 471 TIPS. In West Miami, Peter Danch, CBS 4 News.